Polk County has a rich history of celebrating veterans and armed forces and on May 19th we're going to be doing just that with an event upcoming called Operation Tiger Trot. Joining us today in the studio are representatives from that event. With us is retired Colonel Gary Clark with the U.S. Air Force. Also joining us is Brenda Hornsby with Raging Races and we're going to talk a little bit about the Tiger Trot that's in the morning. Absolutely. And with us from the Ledger Media Group is Tony Trotty. Gary, I'd like to start, I think, with what the history of Armed Forces Day in our county um, from an event standpoint has been for you. I have the opportunity to, to chair the Polk County Veterans Council, and the purpose of the v Veterans Council is really to coordinate events that are more or less countywide uh, amongst the various veterans organizations that are in our county. And Armed Forces Day, for the last number of years, we have partnered with the Flying Tigers in an event that uh, brings veterans out and brings veteran service organizations out with the opportunity for veterans to meet with these folks, find out maybe some things that are going on in the, in, in the community with respect to uh, support for veterans, activities that are going on that uh, they may be interested in, or just some programs that they may be able to take advantage of and to help their particular situation. So that's what Armed Forces Day has, has been in the past. Now we're adding another dimension this year in the sense that uh, what we're doing is we're really showcasing the JROTC units in our, in our community. Uh, an opportunity for the, the folks to come out, uh, veterans to come out and witness uh, the JROTC programs and what they're contributing to the, to the youth in, in, in our community. And in so doing, we're, we're, we're going to also have the opportunity to uh, induct some new recruits into the armed forces. We'll do that on the field. We want folks to come out and, uh, and welcome those folks, uh, those new youngsters into, into the ranks of the armed forces. And, so, and the other thing we're going to be able to do is to welcome home uh, those who have been recently deployed, members of our community who have been recently deployed. Congressman Ross will be there to, uh, to do that and to welcome them home on behalf of the entire community. And uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we're also going to have a lot of other activities going on at the same time. So it's, it's going to be a full day with, uh, with, uh, from morning till, till evening and then of course the game after uh, game will, will follow at 6 o'clock on, on that day and all veterans get in free uh, and all their uh, family members that, uh, that would like to participate can get in free as well. Wonderful. So we're looking for that, forward to that. Well, it's an exciting night for sure. Adding the different elements that we've added to the day is only going to accent Absolutely. that program. Um, you know, one of the most exciting parts of this event is that this is a benefit to the JROTC programs of Polk County and Summerlin Academy. Summerlin Academy will be providing many volunteers and an activity in the middle of the day called Boots, and it's a competition. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about the race, which is the fundraiser for this event. And um, we're going to talk to Brenda and Tony. They're, they both have been working on this race in, in different aspects. And so, Brenda, I want to talk to you a little mm -hmm. bit about registering for the run in the morning. Absolutely. Okay. Um, participants should arrive at what time and what, what does that look like for them? Register on active.com and then you can register that morning at 7 a.m. That's when the pre-registering starts and then the race will actually start at 8 a.m. Tony, I know that you've run in this run several times and uh, been one of the participants, but you're also on the other end of that in planning a little bit um, as one of the partner agencies through the Ledger Media Group. Um, what do you expect to see at this year's run? Hopefully a lot more runners um, here locally and uh, the students, getting more students involved. Uh, last year I ran the race and uh, there was a, about 125, 130 uh, runners out there. and. Uh, I said I was wondering why I was wondering why um, this race it was it's a flat course it's got the best of uh, uh, pavement it's got the best of uh, trail running some paved trails through uh, Lake Parker and then you finish up on the on the on the Tiger Stadium um, at Joe Mar Merchant Stadium and it's just a it's just a great run and uh, they got great awards they and I was just wondering why it wasn't um, uh, as well participated as other races here in Polk County and so I went back to uh, my boss, uh, the Ledger Media Group, and uh, and see if we can partner with them a little better. And that's how we started working with uh, the the Lakeland Flying Tigers and trying to come up with a day that the race would uh, be a consistent part. Um, over the past couple of years, these races were um, middle of spring training. They were at the opening of Flying Tigers. Um, 
uh, the season there. Uh, one year it was on Easter. Uh, this year we were kind of playing around with a few dates, and it was just inconsistent. And mm -hmm. then uh, we were wondering, uh, he was wanting to maybe push us back in the season a little bit, and then we came up with Armed Forces Day. And uh, then we figured that would be a great way to start the day and then end the day at the stadium for the um, Flying Tigers. I think they're playing uh, St. Lucie um, mm -hmm. uh, Mets, I think is the game that they're playing. And uh, then fireworks at the end, so great way to start. Start off with a bang and end with a bang too. And then in the middle, uh, we came across the um, JROTC program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then the events are just kind of culminating and kind of developing, uh, yeah. developing a great support for the military. Um, uh, veterans, um, current, active, and in the future. I think about this event, and, and in my mind's eye as an event planner in this county, I look at this event and I go, man, this is just start to finish completely active. There will be vendors there. We, we know we're starting with this run, and that that's the, the fundraiser and the kickoff to everything. But, um, Tony, will the runners be able to get into the game that night? Yes, basically trying to gear everything to be a whole day event and I know some of the runners you know after the race they'll want to go home take a shower and right. stuff but they're more than welcome to come back and watch the watch the program in the middle right. uh, as the kids do their competition and uh, then come back for the game and uh, we're gonna highlight some of the award winners uh, the, we might not go as far as all the age group but the overall winners and stuff like that Summerlin Academy will be providing um, will be 50 volunteers in uniform for the run itself nice. um, how do you think that that's gonna work I, you know with as a racer yourself, I know that I've seen you in, in several runs around the county. Can you imagine seeing 50 cadets in uniform out on that on that course? Um, seeing any military on the course, whether <laughs> they're running or in support of the race, yeah. um, any military. Um, there's a gentleman running around um, a bunch of local races, and he's carrying a flag, and it just you know support. Even you know going as far as the. I know it's getting a little off topic, but uh, the firefighters and the policemen and seeing those guys in uniform wearing their uh, full gear and everything when they come in with their with their packs on and everything and running races, it's just a huge. So having the JROTC and, and all the cadets uh, so running support, there'll be, there be a lot of support for them as well. You know, thank you along the way. So it'll, it'll go both ways, but the more people on the course, so spectators come on out. Um, but uh, the more people that are on the course, the better it is for any runner. It just Keeps us, keeps us active all the way around the course. And it makes that, that 3.1 miles just a little bit less yeah. as you're going when you see those faces on there. So, um, Gary, I want to touch a little bit about pass and review. And if you could share um, with Polk County what that's going to look like. Um, I've been sitting in meetings listening, and every time I hear about the number of students that are going to be in uniform for pass and review, kind of makes me choke up a little bit. That's going to be just amazing to watch on a field. All those veterans out there, I mean, that's, that's one thing that's probably one of the first things that they learn to do as a new recruit in basic training is, uh, is pass and review. And there's a certain amount of... of uh, uh, of professionalism and uh, accomplishment that goes goes into that and uh, that usually at, at the completion of their basic training that sort of symbolizes uh, the, their uh, their their uh, their training expertise what they've learned uh, the discipline the structure and, and all that and uh, once once you've experienced that uh, you never forget and uh, so we invite the veterans to come out and uh, and and witness that we have over 3,000 kids in this county, that uh, young people that are in JRTC. We have 13 programs in the county, and uh, and, and these uh, these instructors out there that are that are providing guidance and and uh, and structure for for these young people do a fantastic job, and we can't say enough. And this is an opportunity for us old veterans to come out and and applaud what they do. And, and applaud the kids who make that commitment to participate in these programs uh, and, to, and to witness that. And they, they will not be disappointed. We will have a passing review on the field at Joker Margin Stadium that I think everybody will, will, be, will be proud to, to witness. In addition to, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the, uh, the induction of new recruits into the armed forces and a welcome home for some of those who have been recently deployed. It's going to be it's going to be a great day, and uh, you won't want to miss it. Uh, if I can just give a time, we would like folks to be there, the veterans, no later than four o'clock. Come and get your seat early, okay? So uh, so it it won't won't be uh, you you won't miss out, and uh, you won't be disappointed. It'll be a great it'll be a great day. 
Absolutely. Um, Tony, working with sponsors on this event, um, I cannot say enough about the Ledger Media Group and the Detroit Tiger Foundation of Florida and, and what they've committed, but is there room for more sponsors for this program? Well, there's always room for more sponsors. A couple dollars to a couple thousand dollars, any, any, any type of sponsor, we're welcome. And they, all of our race registers, we do that active.com? Active.com, okay. absolutely. And Just what are there. they looking for when they do the search in active.com? Operation Tiger Trot. Operation Tiger Trot, yes. You'll also be able to find links on uh, the ledger.com and also lakelandflyingtigers.com. Uh, they'll have a special, you'll see the logo for the, um, uh, for the Tiger Trot and uh, you'll be able to click on those links and go right to active.com to register there. And then also in the timeout on Thursdays, uh, or next week you'll start seeing a registration form. We've been uh, promoting for the past couple months uh, just with a QR code that they can scan with their smartphones mm -hmm. um, to go right to active. Like, wonderful. Thank you very much for coming out and talking about Tiger Trot, Operation Tiger Trot, as we've changed it a little bit this year. Right. The run itself is celebrating its sixth year, and um, the event. Gary, how long has the, the event been? Uh, several years. I think this is about the fourth year that we've done this. Fourth year. And, uh, and I would just encourage people, we'll also <laughs> have all the information that we discussed here as far as, as uh, the, the Tiger Trot and uh, the other activities going on in uh, during the day on our website, uh, the PolkVeteransCouncil.org, PolkVeteransCouncil.org website. I'd like to thank each of you for coming out and uh, telling us about your part of the Operation Tiger Trot event on May 19th. Well, thank, thank you for you, having us, Jay. Thank you. Thank we you, appreciate Jay. it. So if you want more information on Operation Tiger Trot, it is available. The Ledger, the Veterans Council, um, you can send a direct email to tigertrot2012 at gmail.com for questions. Go on active.com and register for the race. Remember that all of the funds that we raise for this event benefit um, the JROTC programs that are taking place right here in our county. And as Gary said a few minutes ago, that's over 3,000 children in our county that we're looking after through this event, but we need your help. This is our Soldier Support Run and Walk, May 19th at the Flying Tiger Stadium in Lakeland, and we hope to see you there.